All right. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for uh, sticking around. We're talking about the uh, the latest um, shooting. I think 10 people confirmed um, uh, uh, killed by this young person who took a gun and uh, or a couple of guns. I think he had more than one. Um, all legally purchased from, I believe, a self-described stockpile that his mom kept at the house. So I think his mom was on had they found and this is and, and here's the reports of this is so confusing because you, you just never know but there was one report that said that his mother bragged about how many guns she had and how many she kept around the house and stuff and that was sort of a, a source of pride for her and and so this uh this guy takes it and and once again we have a debate over whether or not what the where the proper focus should be whether it should be on mental health issues or whether it should be on virtually unfettered access to firearms and, and, and doc, I mean, that seems reductive to me. This is a, this is a tough, tough question. We have a constitutional right involved here, but we also have a very real safety issue. Is it because crazy people get guns? Well, I, the truth of the matter is, and, and this is statistics and you know what people say about statistics. The truth is, is if you have a mental illness, you're far more likely to be a victim of gun violence than you are to be a perpetrator of gun violence. Yep. It is very rare that somebody with a true and actual mental illness goes out and commits a crime, period, and particularly a crime like this. Now, what we do know is there have been several mass shootings where had the person, had the laws been applied the way they're written. Had the background checks been done the way they were supposed to do, they probably wouldn't have gotten a gun. All right. In this case, this kid was clean. He didn't have any he didn't have any record. Newtown's the same way. What? Newtown was the same way. Yeah. So you have this. And people talk about this kid and they say, Oh, he has he has to be crazy in some kind. I wish I had I wish I could find President Obama's quote, but he said something along the same lines and then he went into his gun control spiel. And the bottom line is, is these people are not technically mentally ill. Well, it's much more likely that he had a substance abuse problem. Well, no, nobody, you know? nobody has said it like nobody has said it. But what we know after the fact, when we start studying these people, uh, most of them do have a substance abuse problem and not a mental illness. Well, there's some kind there. I, now, this is a, a non uh, mental health professional. This is just, a, you know, I, I have expertise or something passing for expertise in other areas. But I, I mean, you got it. There's got to be some sort of derangement that inspires you to do something like this. You, you well, and I have, you and I have, uh, I, and, and everybody I think has a sort of a mental health issue to one degree or another, right? Every, well, yeah, everybody's everybody, got something. Every, everybody's a little nutty in some way. In some way. Know? The only you know? people that are in life that aren't crazy are me and you and sometimes I have my doubts about you. Right, exactly, right? And, yeah. and, but and that, I would never, I could not imagine doing something like this. Well, but part of part of what goes on is is it isn't an actual mental illness. Most of the time, it's a personality disorder compounded by isolation. And the thing is, is if you look at mass shootings, they all fit a similar profile, right? And they always talk about predominantly it's a white male, predominantly they're isolated, predominantly their friends are, are basically the internet and social media. Well, one of the things we have to look at is what really makes it in their own minds that it's okay to do this. In this particular case, there is a... He sort of said it, didn't he? Yeah. He, he did, wanted to be famous. He wanted to be famous. He uh, was... Um, now, we haven't... The, the whole manifesto has not been released, just parts of it. And I think it's interesting that the uh, Russian media has reported several times that this kid's on the list that um, they tried to give Interpol and Obama, and they both rejected it. Because we get back to you can't be a big line POS over in, in Russia and then suddenly go, well, here's this legitimate list. So there's a legitimate reason why they didn't put him on there. But he is on there. I mean, he's on this terror list. There's a report that he actually did leave the country and come back. We won't know. And when you're looking at this and you're talking about being able to self-radicalize on the Internet, and it doesn't matter if you're Muslim or if you're a Christian or what, 
But apparently this guy was really mad at Christ, right? Was going to take it out. I mean, that's what you can get from that manifesto, from what they released. They haven't released the whole thing. So you get this guy, and it's not necessarily a derangement, but a very logical step-by-step process. Oh, my life is crap. I'm stuck in a house with my mother. My dad has abandoned me. And um, let me, and I'm going to go out and do something that is going to prove to the world that they should have remembered me. They should have treated me different. All right? I'm not saying that's what's going on here, but that is the usual. And so he goes out, and he kills these people. And then the cops show up, and then he commits suicide. I think it was all very well planned out. That doesn't sound like mental illness to me. That sounds like a kid who's isolated with a narcissistic and antisocial rant. You can't, you, there are a lot of plenty of people with antisocial tendencies and um, narcissistic traits. I mean, for crying out loud, uh, we have a very successful show demonstrating those very qualities. Mm-hmm. But we wouldn't go out and do this. But this kind of culture, and you're always going to have people like that. Um, the true, the ones that are truly good at it are people like Charlie Manson, where you can get people to go out and do these killings. Cause he's the only guy I know serving lifetime life term for murder that hadn't actually killed anybody. So the bottom line is, is it's all the same kind of personality structure. It just kind of depends on how radicalized they can get. And from my perspective, we get back to, <clears throat> let's say we're going to attack the right. From your perspective, because I've heard a lot from the left about, you know, you know, doing common sense things, because that's mm-hmm. what you just got done saying. Yep. And then they'll mention, you know, if you've had problems with with mental illness in the past, then, you, you know, that should be a knock against you and all that stuff from the right or from the left. I don't care. The bottom line is, is if you have a not if you've gone to a therapist, is that going to be a reason to, to prevent you from getting a gun? And so the the thing I'm going to ask you, I guess, after pontificating for seven minutes, what particular law would have helped this particular situation? It does well. The, but see, Wait, that's, what what would be the law that you would write to prevent this kind of thing, this particular case, from happening? But that's the whole point. That's the wrong question to ask. There is there is no particular law that can p- control for a particular event. Because every event is different and every event has different kinds of uh, factors, just like there is no particular OWI law that can protect against every single individual person that decides to drink too much. It's in the application. It's the application. uh, the, The laws that we have are obviously not doing something because guns are really, really easy to get for folks that want to do bad things with them, whether it be a mass shooter, whether it be somebody uh, shooting up. Uh, inner city kids in Chicago because I know that's a big whipping boy for the right right now the problem the problem is the way that I see it the problem is not necessarily that you got a bunch of bad guys that want to get their hands on guns the problem because that like you said that's probably just going to be how a society is there's gonna be bad guys that want to do bad things the problem is the guns are really easy to get I was looking at some statistics from Chicago because that was this uh, something I saw from my conservative friends on Facebook. You know, once again, we got to bring Chicago up and how terrible Chicago is. And they have the most restrictive gun laws in the country. Well, they don't. Not really. The gun, the 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 city laws in Chicago that restrict guns are pretty much the same as they are everywhere else. Trigger locks and and uh, um, uh, the gun stores still exist. You can still buy handguns, I believe, inside the city limits of Chicago. But you have to jump through a bunch of hoops and stuff, kind of like there are elsewhere in the country. But most of the, uh, uh, mo- the about 60% of the gun violence, when they, when they track the guns down that are used to commit these crimes, are purchased from Indiana, from, Illinois, uh, from Ohio, from Missouri, bordering states that have uh, laxer gun laws in Illinois or the city of Chicago themselves. We need something federally done about this because the state, well, the piecemeal but, states, but, are but not getting it done. there's a ton of federal laws about this. I mean, look at the, the Brady Bill. That's a federal law. It's a five-day waiting period. Well, and, and, it, and it drastically cut down on 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 uh, on this kind of, on these kinds of things. What kind of that, things? Um, what would it cut down? Get, get, getting uh, getting guns out of the hands of people that want to do they it cut down on the numbers, right? Well, and no, so it, it, it didn't. Well, we're going to come back. We're going to come back. We're going to finish up this uh, conversation about uh, gun control and mental health. We'll be back right after this break. Thanks everybody for tuning in. <laughs> 